um, for today's video, I've got this makeup look for you here, which is so perfect for summer. It's crazy. Like, I'm going to be wearing this every day during summer and most of these products that I've used are quite affordable so you can recreate this as well and you know like it's just so glowy and just so up my alley and I'm sure it's up your alley too with all this highlighter because I swim in it today like literally I put it all over my body because hey no shame in that you know you paid for the highlighter may as well put it all over your body and get your money's worth even though if it's affordable so i'm not going to keep you here for too long make sure you hit that big fat thumbs up and the red button down below and yeah without further ado let's get into it and you know the drill we are going in with the urban decay rehab makeup prep as primer to hydrate and prep the skin for foundation and then after that I'm going to be taking the Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline and applying this everywhere where we would typically highlight. This is going to create more of a glow from within because it's obviously going to be coming out from under the foundation and it's just going to look like a more natural highlight. And then, as usual, for foundation, I'm taking my NARS Lightweight Luminous Foundation. Nothing new there. This is in the shade Barcelona. It was a tad little bit too dark for me, so I went in with another layer of foundation. I know, a lot of foundation. Um, just to lighten it down after this. And then I'm going to blend it in then with my sponge. This is the Real Techniques... Um, Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, is it something like that? Please excuse my bad tanned hands. I can't I can't tan my hands for the life of me. I really, really can't. I'm going in my Urban Decay All All Nighter. Is it All Nighter or Urban Decay? No, sorry. My Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And this is in the lightest shade possible. And I know this was way too light for my skin tone at the moment. But I really, really, really like an really highlighted under eye I just think it looks really nice I'm blending this in then again with my sponge and making sure everything is blended and looking flawless as possible really <laughs> I'm going in with this lightest shade in the NYX contour palette and I actually did mix the banana shade as well with it just to bring it back a little bit because then it would just look way too highlighted under the eye area. I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush and we are just going to be setting under our eyes today. We're going to take the Revolution Pro Fix fixing spray. This is the illuminating one and we're going to use this to set our face. This is amazing. It's absolutely perfect for the illuminating glow. I absolutely love it and it's drugstore. You can't go better. You can't get any better than that. I'm doing my brows off camera and I'm going to contour then again with the NYX contour palette. Now taking my bronzer, this is the Urban Decay Beach Bronze Bronzer and I'm going to very minimally bronze. I don't even know if that was a word, minimally. Don't mind me. I'm going to really lightly bronze my face. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. I'm taking my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm taking these two shades, the brown in my crease and the kind of creamy whitish colour all over my lid. I don't have my palette on me now so I actually couldn't even read the words off the screen. But I'm just going to do very, very minimal eye makeup today. I just wanted it all to be about the skin and the glow and just the bronziness and warmth and yeah you get my idea <laughs> And then just going in with the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter, I'm going to highlight the inner corners and my brow bone. I'm using the Blank Canvas E23 brush. And 
And for falsies, we are going to apply the Tatty Lashes in the style TL4. These lashes are amazing. Like, that's all I have to describe of them. They're amazing. The company is amazing. Their shipping is amazing. Everything about this brand is just amazing. And I am so going to be purchasing so many more lashes from them. I highly, highly recommend this brand, Tashi Lashes, amazing. And then just to um, balance everything out, I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and applying this to my lower lashes. Ah, the satisfaction of a good, good highlighter. This is the Inglot Sparkle Dust in the shade 02. I'm applying this on the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going a little bit more ham today with the highlighter because obviously it's a summer glow makeup look. And I'm also applying it on the nose and in between, not in between, but you know like the top of your bridge. I really like applying highlighter there as well. And a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow. I put way too much on my forehead and I like start freaking out. So just don't do that with these Ingla highlighters. They're just too intense for your forehead. You'll just look like a weirdo. Don't do that. You've, you have learned from my mistake and I have officially warned you. And so the highlighter doesn't look like a big strip, straight line on my face. I am going to be applying some blush. This is the NYX Solstice Blush. As you know, this is my all time, all time, all time, all time favorite blush. Like I have never used a blush so much. Like it's crazy. Like I have not touched any other blush than this one. I love it. I'm taking my Kylie Jenner, um, Sorry, my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Liquid Lipstick. This is my favorite nude because I'm more like a brownie nude girl. I hate pink nudes. Um, this is a perfect nude for a super dark tan and I just thought it went perfect with this look. I'm taking some body oil. Now you can read it there because I can't. So I'm just going to leave you. I'm just going to let you do that, okay? That is so satisfying. I'm sorry, but this is like an amazing product. It's absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to shake it up because obviously you kind of need to do that with an oil. And applying this all on my decolletage, as you should say. And I'm bouncing a beach blender just to make sure that it's melted into the skin and it doesn't look like a big like blob of highlighter. This is amazing. It just looks from a glow within. It's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time. I will see you soon.